Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to tutorial number nine. And in this tutorial, we are going to be talking about math operators in PHP. So what do I mean by operators? Well, I'm talking about the symbols that we use in PHP to perform certain actions. So if you guys watched the previous tutorials, then you guys know that I've already showed you one operator, which was called the assignment operator. Okay, and that was the equal sign. So I had a variable called name, and I used the equal sign to assign the value of Quinton to the variable name. Okay, so this equal sign assigned this, ver this uh, value to this variable. Now we are going to use uh, math operators in PHP to perform certain uh, mathematical calculations with uh, PHP. Okay, so to do that I'm actually just going to explain all the operators to you. Uh, so I'm going to comment this out. Okay, and we'll write uh, caps lock on math operators at the top here okay and uh, I'll turn my caps lock off now the first operator that we can use in PHP is called uh, the plus sign okay and that just adds two numbers together so that's quite straightforward okay two numbers together then the next one is uh, the minus symbol and you guys can probably guess what that does. It just subtracts uh, one number from another. Okay. Then we've also got the multiplication symbol. Um, but this isn't going to be like an X or something that you're used to in maths. In computer programming, we use the asterisk symbol. So that little uh, star above the number 8 on your keyboard. Okay, that is the multiplication uh, symbol. Okay, and then we've also got division, uh, which you guys can pretty much guess. Uh, that is going to be this forward slash, okay? And that's going to divide one number from another. Okay, and the last one that I want to talk to you guys about is going to be the modulus symbol, which is the percent sign. Okay. And you guys might be a little bit confused by this one, but this returns the remainder. Okay. When one number is divided by another. So divided by another. Okay, so those are just our notes uh, for this tutorial, but let's actually get onto it and uh, actually uh, do some mathematical calculations, okay? So I'm gonna make a variable called example, and we can set this equal to seven plus two. Now this is gonna be very straightforward because obviously example is gonna be equal to seven plus two, uh, which we know to be nine. Okay, so if I go ahead and echo uh, my variable example, let's go see what we get printed out on the screen. Okay, so I'll just have to uh, put that semicolon in, come back here. Uh, okay, now I actually went ahead and <laughs> tested this. Uh, I needed to minimize my browser and get all this organized, but you should get nine printed out on the screen. Okay, uh, likewise, if we go back here and we change this to a, a minus symbol, okay, then this is going to be a 7 minus 2, which we know to be 5. So if we save that, uh, come back here, click refresh, now we've got 5 printed out on the screen. So we know that 7 minus 2 is 5, okay? Uh, again, silly examples, but I'm just making sure that you guys understand all the math operators, okay? So then we've also got seven multiplied by two, which we know to be 14. So when we come back and click refresh, there we go, we've got 
14 printed out on the screen. Okay, likewise, I can also use the divide symbol and that's gonna take seven divided by two. So we should land up with three and a half. So let me go click refresh and there we go, 3.5 printed out onto the screen. Okay, okay. So now we can go ahead and talk about this uh, more complicated um, symbol and that is the modulus symbol. So if I go ahead and I change this to percent, uh, seven percent two, okay. This is gonna divide seven by two and then give us the remainder. So two actually goes into seven three times like we saw uh, when we did the previous division example. So we've got, um, if I put this back here, we've got three and a half, okay? So we don't actually want the 0.5, we want an actual remainder, okay? So uh, seven, two goes into seven three times with a remainder of one. So now that I've saved this, uh, if we go back here and click refresh, there we go, we've got one printed out on the screen, okay? Now, if you still don't understand, then we can go ahead and maybe change this to eight, okay? So now we've got eight modulus two, okay? And two goes into eight exactly four times with no remainder because eight uh, divided by two is four, not four point anything, just four. So we should get um, a remainder of zero. So if we go back here, click refresh, there we go, we've got zero printed out on the screen. So how awesome is that? Not only can we perform basic math calculations in PHP, but um, we've also got this little modulus symbol so we can get the remainder. So that's all I have for you guys in this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Please feel free to click like, leave a comment or share the video. It's really going to help my channel grow and I'll see you guys in the next one.